Moving on to air quality and eyesight. A new study led by an international team, including scientists from the University of Birmingham, have found that lower exposure to nitrogen dioxide and PM 2.5 was linked to better eyesight in children. They believe that not only can cleaner air play a vital role in protecting children's eyesight, it may even improve vision. The researchers say the results suggest that reducing air pollution could help slow the progression of myopia, or short-sightedness, a condition where distant objects appear blurry and which is rising rapidly among children worldwide. Children living in areas with cleaner ear were found to have significantly better vision. Professor Zongbo Shi from the University of Birmingham, who co-supervised the study, commented, while genetics and screen time are long recognized as contributors to childhood myopia, this study is among the first to isolate air pollution as a meaningful and modifiable risk factor. Clean ear isn't just about respiratory health. It's about visual health too. Our results show that improved air quality could be a valuable strategic intervention to protect children's eyesight, especially during their most vulnerable developmental years. The findings add to growing evidence that air pollution possesses a significant risk to eye health. Earlier this year, a major UK biobank study involving more than 115,000 adults found that higher exposure to PM 2.5 and nitrogen oxides was linked to an increased risk of age-related macular degeneration, AMD, and measurable changes in the thickness of retinal layers. AMD is a leading cause of blindness in older adults. So the article recommended folks get air purifiers to improve the overall health of their eyes and overall vision. Well, I currently have about 16 air purifiers in my home and I'm running about eight of them right about now. And my glasses are uh, pretty thick enough to be considered bulletproof at this point. So there's that. <laughs> but I didn't start using ear purifiers until I already had bulletproof thick glasses. So I suppose that is also something to consider as well, right? Either way, a link to the article is below in the description.